If you're still having trouble keeping the skis parallel throughout the whole turn, you may be doing something that I call a two-step. I'm not talking about pushing into a wide snowplow, making the turn, and then letting the skis come parallel at the end. It's just a very quick one-two. So the skis aren't actually changing edges together and staying parallel all the way through. One-two. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you have a watch down here, I'm doing a very quick one-two. The skis aren't turning together. One, two. And it's something that even some even good skiers do. And it's more of a habit than something you need to do. As you saw there, there was just a very quick one, two. And that's actually because what you're doing, and it's more of a habit than anything, is pushing off that lower ski, turning the uphill ski to initiate the turn, and then, in some cases, having to actually lift the other ski. What we want to replace that with, and think about the clutch accelerator that we've already looked at, instead of pushing off that lower leg, feeling the weight gently coming onto it, and even letting the knee roll down the hill slightly. And you could see, even standing here, as I do that, the skis are going to slide into that next turn nice and smooth. So get away from this idea of pushing off to start the turn. Avoid the temptation to push off the lower ski. Gently let the weight come onto the top ski and let the ski stay parallel. Don't rush the turn. Like most bad habits, it will probably pop up when the slope gets slightly steeper or you're starting to get tired. Get it dealt on the easier slopes and it will start to become very natural. Remember, practice makes permanent.